If you've taken a general chemistry class, you may remember the concepts of strong acids and strong bases. In my video Superacid, I explored an acid much stronger than the strong acids typically mentioned, and in this video, we'll explore bases much stronger than the strong bases typically mentioned. If you made it far enough in chemistry, you know that each acid has what is known as a conjugate base, the base formed when the acid reacts. The conjugate base of hydrochloric acid is chloride, acetic acid is acetate, etc. Now the weaker the acid, the stronger the conjugate base. Since hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, chloride doesn't even really behave as a base. Acetic acid is a weak acid, so acetate is a weak base, but stronger than chloride. Water, when it behaves as an acid, is extremely weak, so its conjugate base, hydroxide, is very strong. In fact, the strong bases one learns in general chemistry are all hydroxides. However, hydroxides are not the strongest bases. They are only the strongest bases that can exist in water. What happens when a weaker acid than water reacts to form its conjugate base? Then we get what is known as a superbase, a base stronger than hydroxide. When an acid and a base reacts, they form a weaker acid and a weaker base. Superbases are so strong that they get water to behave like an acid, forming hydroxide as the weaker base. For example, tert-butyl alcohol is a weak acid, even weaker than water. Acids are described by pKa, and the higher the pKa, the weaker the acid. Tert-butyl alcohol has a pKa of 18, compared with about 15.7 for water. pKa is logarithmic, so this makes tert-butyl alcohol about 200 times less acidic than water. Therefore, its base is about 200 times more basic than water. So when potassium t-butoxide, a conjugate base of tert-butyl alcohol, gets added to water, the water acts like an acid, forming the weaker base potassium hydroxide and the weaker acid tert-butyl alcohol. And even though potassium hydroxide is weaker than potassium terbutoxide, it is still face-meltingly basic, so don't do anything stupid with it. These superbases are actually quite useful in organic chemistry. Potassium t-butoxide, for example, is used to take compounds known as alkyl halides, which are compounds containing carbon, hydrogen, and a halogen, and only single bonds, and turn them into alkenes, which are composed with carbon, hydrogen, and a double bond, and it does this by removing a hydrogen and the halogen from the alkyl halide. An even stronger base, lithium diisopropyl amide, or LDA, is used to remove hydrogen from ketones, which are compounds containing a carbon-oxygen double bond in the middle of the carbon chain. So what is the strongest base? With a pKa of around 60, methane is the weakest proton acid, so its conjugate base, methanide, would be the strongest. However, methanide is incredibly unstable and only exists in really exotic conditions. You could consider methyl lithium or the Grignard reagent methyl magnesium bromide as salts of the methanide ion. However, while both are extremely basic, the compounds are covalent, not ionic, so they aren't true methanide salts. Still, Grignard and organolithium reagents might just be the most basic things you'd ever come across.